I forgot what Florida heat was like. This is what I would normally. If you just spill a whole bunch of water on the floor. <laughs> These are the faces of people who just ran like a half mile to get in the Hagrid's line. But now, where are we going? We're going bathrooms because this is not the way. Oh. So I survived the Velocicoaster, as you can see. garden view. We made it to Royal Pacific. We did have to beg to get into a room. They weren't going to release it to us so we had to try to get a different one. So now we're a little farther from the parks but it's good because we can head over to the parks now. But here's what I'm wearing. Louise's was Louise's. Apparently I'm staff now. So yeah, we're gonna head over now. We're in City Walk and I'm already sweating. Like we just stayed a little bit back there and now I forgot what Florida heat was like, but I'm very excited to head in. We're going over to Universal first because it closed earlier for Halloween Horror Nights. We've never actually been here during Halloween Horror Nights, although we're not going. I guess I'll let you guys know what we decide to do once we get in the parks. take the train from Diagon Alley over to Hogsmeade because believe it or not it is September 1st so we gotta go over to Hogwarts and take the train and everything. I think that'll be super fun. So the wait time was 40 minutes. We have express so hoping for 20 minutes or less. There's some possible rain on the forecast on the radar. Hopefully that doesn't hit us because there are a lot fewer places to actually hide from it in Hogsmeade. But Hagrid's is only 50, so we might try to go on that. I don't really feel like waiting in line, but we can probably do it if that's kind of the only thing over there that we feel like doing. So we'll see. Hogsmeade. It is so hot here. Um, I'm gonna look at the radar again at, for the rain though um, because it's still looking dark and scary. I don't know if it's actually gonna rain though but it was really fun to ride the Hogwarts Express because it's September 1st. I don't think many of the people actually knew though but whatever. It's okay. It's our little secret. But I'm debating going on Velocicoaster. I've never been on it. I was scared of roller coasters up until like two months ago, so it's embarrassing, but maybe I'll go on it. We'll see. I 
just taking a little rest now. We walked around Filches. It's starting to rain. I can see it. And we've been like... We've been watching the storms come in, like on the radar and the clouds. But all the rides... All of the outdoor rides are closed, as I was saying. So we're kind of just hanging out here. There's the castle, but we're gonna have to find some indoor space because I think it's actually going to rain soon. It doesn't really look like it's gonna clear up anytime soon. So we are heading out to City Walk to get dinner and then we'll have a little picnic, go back to the room and then possibly after that we could come back in and see the lights show if it's running tonight. So I will let you guys know what we end up doing, but we are on our way out now. We made it back to the room and it just started pouring like for the last little bit since we left the restaurant. We got our takeout. You can kind of see, yeah, no, you can't really see, but there's like a really big thunderstorm cell coming at us. So we were hearing it like, we've been hearing it for hours actually, but we made it back with the food, slightly wet, but I'm very excited to eat it. I'm super hungry. We got nachos. We always get those from Antojitos and City Walk. So I'm gonna show you guys what they look like and then I'm gonna try some eat them all. For scale, look at how giant this ice cream is. I mean, it was, what, like $8? So we definitely paid for it, but it's giant. So I'm hoping it's good or else we can't have to deal with a very lot of mediocre ice cream. We made it back to our room and after that massive ice cream, um, I think we're just gonna hang out in the room for the rest of the evening. It's around 7.30, so it's kind of late and we've had a long day. I got up at 4.45 this morning. So it's time for some rest. We're gonna be up not too early tomorrow, but we will be out and about trying to get into the parks early and go on Hagrid's, of course. So I'm gonna come up with a list of things that I want to do tomorrow because tomorrow we're gonna be here until probably noon and then we have to head out. But I want to get a lot of things done tomorrow. So I'm hoping to hit everything on my list. So I'll let you guys know what is on my list, what are the things I want to do tomorrow and everything. So yeah, I think we're just gonna watch a show and chill out. I'm gonna take a shower, <laughs> kind of a mess right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today and I can't wait to continue our universal little getaway tomorrow. Good morning, so it's Friday. I'm all dressed and ready to go to the parks. We're gonna leave in like 30 seconds. Let me just show you guys my outfit. So I'm wearing my tie and dress and everything. This is what I would normally... Did you just spill a whole bunch of water on the floor? <laughs> this is what I normally wear under my robes, but I do not have my robes today because I could not fit them in my bag and it is way too hot for that. So then just sneakers. I also have these legging shorts underneath so I can fit my camera in this pocket and my phone in the other pocket and I can still go on rides and everything. So let's head out and get in line in front of Islands of Adventure. Hopefully we can get on Hagrid's early today. Oh, my camera's really foggy, but we missed the mark. They are letting people in, so we are going to have to book it to Hagrid's. <laughs> Whoopsies. These are the faces of people who just ran like a half mile <laughs> to get in the Hagrid's line. Yes, I I know we uh, are delayed. No! We're gonna wait, I guess, because we haven't been on Hagrid since January, like the beginning of January, so I really would like to go on it, but I guess we're gonna wait for it. I'm really hot though. We made it out from Hagrid's. It's always a great ride. I think it was about an hour that we waited, 
but the wait time got up to 140, I think, which is crazy. We got in, I think it said like 75 by the time we entered the queue, but that was from the end of the line. So it was really fun as always. But now where are we going? We're going bathrooms because this is not the way. Okay, we're going to the Hippogriff, I guess. So I'm going to do a Velocicoaster. I'm going alone. I know I can do it. I'm just a little nervy. It's a 20 minute wait, so it shouldn't be that long, but I don't know like how long the queue is. I don't know like where I have to start being scared, so I'm just gonna be scared the whole time. Yeah, wish me luck. So I survived the Velocicoaster, as you can see. It wasn't really that bad. It was more just scary before, I guess. Then once I got on it, it was fine. I was in the front row and the girl next to me said that that was the best place to ride it when it's your first time. So I'm glad I got front row, I guess. I will not do it again today. Might do it again someday. Now we are heading over to the train to, to Universal. Long spoons. Is that how it normally tastes? It tastes better. I'm unsure. I think it is better. It's better than New York. I'm looking highly rough right now and I understand, so just ignore it, please. I just got back to the hotel room. My mom's getting ice cream in the lobby. Then it is time to head out on to our next location. I had a really fun day. It was like almost my ideal day. Ooh, time to let mom in. Yes, I must eat the ice cream. Um, so I went on Dr. Doom. I don't think I showed you guys that. And obviously we took the train back over. We didn't walk because it's like really hot right now. You can see from my face. Yeah, I had a really fun day. The only thing that was really missing, other than it being too hot, if it was cooler, it would have been great. But the only thing that was missing was the mummy ride was open yesterday for previews and closed today. So I was hoping I would get on it today. Sadly, I was not able to. That is one of my favorite rides, so that was disappointing. But other than that, it was a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this little getaway. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts. Check out my Etsy shop, also at Rosie Revolts, and my book at GetOutsourcebook.com, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.